In this video I want to go over how I created this front flip animation with the squirrel rig from the Alive course. I know it's far from perfect, my main goal was just to show you how quick it is to create a decent body mechanic animation in Cascader. I want to make this front flip animation based on the run cycle I previously created so I can blend them together easily. For this I want to export the existing animation from Blender and uh, import it to Cascader. I firstly bake the keyframe from the control rig to the deformation rig, then stash this action in the NLA editor and exported the FBX animation. To make animating more convenient in Cascader, I organized a timeline and separated the rig into different animation tracks. I created tracks for each limb, the head, the spine and the tail and organized the legs into different folders. The point of this is to be able to separate the keyframes for each animation track and you can also set different interpolation mode in each track. You can create shortcuts for selecting multiple controller points by selecting those points first, then pressing Ctrl 0, Ctrl 1, Ctrl 2. When you later want to select these points, you just need to press 0, 1, 2, etc. Since the animation I made in Blender is 24 frames per second, I set the frame rate in Cascader to 24 frames per second too. Also, I have three jumps in my run cycle, but I only need one for the front flip. So I selected all the remaining keyframes and by pressing Alt F, you can delete multiple keyframes and also you can set multiple keyframes this way. First I added a ballistic trajectory for reference. I wanted to make it taller than the run cycle, but shorter, so you trade the distance for height. Then I snapped the center of mass to the trajectory and deleted the keyframes that I don't need for the front flip, so I kept the beginning, the end, and around the middle of the jump. During the blocking phase, I was trying to match the line of action with the ballistic trajectory and I will show this part in a time lapse. I found it really useful using the shadow mode for the keyframes to guess how much should I move the character or how much should I rotate it. You can also rotate the character along the center of mass so I positioned it along the trajectory and just rotate it around the center of mass.
I hit the tail at the beginning to make blocking the body easier but now that I'm finished with blocking I can turn it back on. You can hide any limb or any point controller pressing V and unhide everything with Alt V. For blocking the tail I try to drag it behind the body and kind of follow the trajectory and when it starts flipping it wraps around the squirrel and when he stops spinning it like whips out like a whip. <laughs> After finishing the blocking I should have done a timing pass on the animation because currently it's too fast but I will show it how to fix at the end of the video. Since my animation is 24 frames per second and it's quite a quick motion I don't have much room to play around with interpolation so it didn't make much difference what I used, I just set linear to all interpolation at the beginning, which is usually not the best choice but in this case it worked. Since the character is almost all the time in the air, I used FK interpolation for the whole timeline and it, I changed it only for small parts for the legs. In a couple of places the linear interpolation absolutely looked wrong so I tried different interpolation mode mainly Bezier and Clamp Bezier. So once you set the interpolation modes you can snap the center of mass to the ballistic trajectory and after that I tried to snap the, the squirrel to the ballistic ghost which fixes the rotation but in this case it tried to start rotating the squirrel right after it leaves the ground but when people are doing front flips they usually jump up and almost at the top of the curve or on the top of the ballistic trajectory starts to rotate when tucking in the front flip. The solution I found is to create a new ballistic curve for the part where you want to rotate turn on ballistic ghosts and snap the squirrel to the ballistic ghost only at this part. So now the rotation is good but I realized that nothing starts the rotation. So I wanted to start the rotation by quickly pulling the front legs and the head down. As I'm checking the timing of the animation I realized that it is too fast at the moment but it looks good at half speed so I will retime the whole animation. So I set the available frame almost double the time, so 10, 24 frames per second and by pressing Ctrl T and dragging the timeline with the middle mouse button you can retime the animation. At this point I'm quite satisfied with the result and it only took me around one hour to create it. As a beginner I think it's not that bad. I wanted to retarget this animation for the original squirrel rig in Blender but after spending another hour at least I gave up because I didn't find any success and that's my main issue with Cascader because it's really difficult to move your animation between different softwares at the moment. But the software is still in it's early access phase so hopefully in the future there will be more convenient solutions.